Hello everybody, this is Jay Porter here, and today we're gonna go through most of Bubble Gloop Swamp as we can. And so, in this area right here, there's supposed to be a whole bunch of frogs that attack you, and if you kill them all, you get a jiggy. But, I recorded this world a few days ago, well not a few days ago, but yesterday, and I died while I was doing all this. So, we won't have like two jiggies that will be found but um uh, it kind of sucks I really know but I really didn't want to die but I didn't want to put that recording of me dying and this grunty switch right here too I grabbed that already so just too bad I'm really sorry about that I didn't mean to die I mean I was recording it but I died and I was all like no and so I thought I could be able to do it again but and it just didn't happen. But don't worry, we will be doing a lot in this world. Okay. So over here we have another crocodile. And this crocodile, um, as you see, it kind of gets faster every time you go to a new one. And so really they're not that hard, all of them aren't, but they just get a little faster. It makes it a little bit more challenging. But overall, it's really not that much more challenging. All right, so. I try and grab a mumbo token and as you probably saw as I flew right past it but it's really hard to get and so I kind of just pass it for right now because it would take too much time to get it see like right here I think I try again yeah I do and then I still don't get it so I'm just all like whatever let's go to the next jiggy and so I think I fixed my audio in the last video, which is really nice. I hope it does the same in this one. And other than that, I really hope that you'll be able to hear the um, game sound too. And so that'll be really helpful. And so we have Mr. Turtle over here. Oh yeah, and since I died, my note score is like 45 or something. Basically, if you talk to him, he says that his limbs are cold, like his legs and his back legs. And so, he can't feel them, and he can't move them, so he says, can you do anything? Basically, you're supposed to ground pound <clears throat> his legs. And here, I'm gonna probably cut the audio right here and listen to this. It's just the weirdest, weirdest scream ever. Anyway, he says he's warm now, cause he got his arms in. <clears throat> so, really, it's nothing too good, but, uh, we grab a Jinjo here. I kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye. And I'm just like, yeah! Got it! And there's another crocodile over here that we'll be getting later. And so yeah, another reason that's good about these things is you don't have to go through the cutscene whenever you get Jiggies! Yay! So happy. Um, but yeah, we have a few notes in here. And it's a kind of a challenge in here. And, um... While I'm recording, sometimes my brother watches. And so he kind of helps me out here. And so he's, this guy's saying about the new choir is starting. Alright. Orange. Blue. Orange. Alright. Gotta remember that. Hmm. So, before we do that, I know that there is a um, honeycomb piece up here. So I just decide to grab it. And this guy will be like, oh, you want to see it again? And I'm like, no. But he does it again anyways. Just, it's annoying. And again, orange, blue, orange. And so for the first two, they're really easy. Um, but, um, well, you have to ground pound them to make the sound come out. So you can do the little Simon thing. I call it Simon because, you know, it's a remembering game. And I, I'm like, what the crap? Alright, so I get him there. And bam! Another one. Bam! Another one. And we get it right. Yay! Mmm, not too bad. <laughs> Try again, lesson two. Alright, um. Red, purple, orange, purple, blue. And you know, it's not that too hard, so I'm all like. Okay, red. Alright. Purple. Yeah! And then. Bam, orange. And then I'm like, purple again. And then I do blue. I'm like, epic. Alright. Okay, and this one's the harder one. So, for this one, I had my brother 
kind of write down the letters that I say to him. So I'm like, purple, blue, purple, orange, purple, red, and then blue again. And so he writes it down, and I look at him like, okay, all right, this is easy. And I just keep failing trying to ground pound these things. I don't know why I call it ground pound. I don't think it's called ground pound, but I mean, I kind of refer to Mario. Because you know, Mario is known by everybody. I mean, who doesn't know Mario? People in Africa, probably. It's sad. But anyways, so eventually I get through this. And this one usually is not too hard. You can kind of remember it. It's just the last one's hard again. But he gives you a jiggy, so not too shabby. And um, we grab another jumbo piece. As you probably saw, it was behind the... Um, the guy I don't I forgot what those are called I mean I play an instrument I play trombone but um I forget what the um oh band director that's not really a band that's a choir choir director so it's behind him with some blue eggs delicious blue eggs <laughs> um but I did learn that you can have blue eggs actually if you dye them with food coloring so that's pretty cool. Uh -huh. Um, so we grab a few more notes and more notes. Yay. Um, but yeah, we have this really creepy alligator guy. He looks like he's mad. It's just, it's just weird. It's just strange. And we have another crocodile over here. But I don't decide to get it right now because we have a few other things. So, oh, crap. Um, I think I skipped a mumbo token down there. I'll have to get those later. But, I'm um, okay. So, I look around, I see blue eggs and golden feathers, and I'm like, oh, we don't, and then for some reason I do that again. I mean, what the crap? I mean, I jump off a leaf and do it, and that's just retarded. And <laughs> I do it again. That's just stupid. I'm like, okay, so there's gold feathers here. Yeah, I'll pick them up. Cause you know, they're gold feathers. They're gold. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want gold stuff? And oh my God, all right. There we go, dead. Those things are so freaking annoying, just saying. Like, oh my God. There's a point where like, it's impossible to hit them. And it's just so annoying. And it's just, it's just the worst thing ever. Not the worst thing ever, but it's annoying so oh my god that guy has big nostrils it's crazy I mean I can see how like some people have big noses but you know nostrils those nostrils are freaking huge I don't want to be next to those whenever he sneezes god and like they're the pointed sideways so like at least whenever he's talking to someone, whenever he sneezes, it doesn't, like, get all over the other person. But still, I mean, like, that's nasty. And, okay, so we get the last, um, alligator here. <clears throat> the golden alligator. And why I say golden alligator is because, um, we have the other, all the other alligator. And, so... Also, kind of spoiler alert here, we um, turn into an alligator for the mumbo uh, thing. And so that's pretty nice. And what's really nice about the mumbo transformation is it allows you to walk in water. Or not just water. <laughs> I can walk in water as an alligator. Yay! But um, what I mean is like, you can walk on the swampy water. And, um, it's really nice. Like, oh my god, it's so freaking annoying now. Whenever you get the alligator, it's so easy. Alright, so we have a little maze right here. And it requires the boots and some notes. And if you miss the notes, it's so annoying. And oh my gosh. It's probably so annoying to hear me saying so annoying over and over again in this video. It's just not cool. <laughs> but anyways, since it's so annoying to hear that, 
um, this maze is really not too hard whenever you get around the corners and I decide to go back cause like I'm not gonna make it because I missed on the first two notes I mean what the crap but um I keep going ahead and uh, oh my gosh okay so the next part up here is probably the hardest part or second hardest part in my opinion up here because it's really so easy to fail and oh my gosh I hope I won't but all right so I give you 10 seconds you have to get all the way over there in 10 seconds and it's just how are you gonna do that okay so the best idea here is to jump but be very careful oh my god okay I'm just gonna cut ahead all right so we're back now we're gonna try this again hopefully we get it all right 10 seconds so like I was saying the best idea is to probably jump across but being very careful especially how I did it with crappy camera angles but you know whatever sometimes you just don't always get what you want all right so we got eight jiggies not too bad I think I can get all ten jiggies in this world but I think I'm gonna have to do another video and so you got a time to take it oh my gosh all right <laughs> so back over here we have the rest of the maze and we have mumbo's hut and oh my god another freaking dragonfly it's so annoying oh what the crap I didn't even get to oh what the crap what the crap oh my god I didn't I just went through him and oh my okay okay run run ah. all right there's a mumbo token behind the skull um It'd probably be hard for most people to do it. I mean, see that. <laughs> uh, because it's kind of just behind there. And you can see it while you're going through the maze, but sometimes you just don't notice it. Alright, so we have Momo here, and oh my god. We are an alligator. <laughs> so, alligator, I think, is my probably favorite transformation in this whole game. And oh my god, okay. Good man, <laughs> that dragonfly. I don't want to die. And it's my favorite transformation. Just because the other ones, they just aren't as cool, in my opinion. And you'll see what I mean later. But we're kind of running low on time here. And this guy's nostrils so big. What do we do? We crawl in the mucus. Ugh. Alright, um. But yeah, we're running low on time here. I think we're going to have to get off and make another video. But and so, I'll see you guys next time and in the next video we're going to face the another alligator okay rate comment subscribe bye or you know